Hello kids, in this video we will learn about perimeter of a figure. Bhola's farm has had a very good crop this time. He thought he would come back the next day and harvest his crop. The next day when Bhola reached his farm, he saw that mice had created a havoc there. Those mice were eating Bhola's tomatoes with great interest. Bhola drove the mice away and thought that he would make a barbed wire fence around his farm. He immediately brought the barbed wire from the market. Initially, Bhola made a fence for that part of the field in which tomatoes and pumpkins were sown. If tomatoes and pumpkins have been cultivated in these types of squares and rectangle shapes, can you answer how many meters of wire has Bhola used to make a fence around tomatoes and pumpkins? To estimate the length of the wire used in a fence, we need to find the perimeter of that place. Tomatoes are cultivated in a square sized area with each side being 5 meters in length. And because all the sides of the square are of equal length, the size of a square shaped fence will be 4 times the length of the side. In this way, Bhola used 4 times 5 or 20 meters long wire to make a square shaped fence. The rectangle shaped fence is 12 meters in length and the width is 6 meters. Every rectangle has two long edges and two wide edges. In this way, the size of this rectangular fence will be arrived at by adding 12 and 6 with 12 and 6 again. That is 36 meters. Children, if Bhola has sowed carrots in this plot, can you answer how many meters of wire would Bhola have to use to make a fence around it? If you want, you can find a solution by stopping the video. This plot is triangular shaped. Therefore, to find the perimeter of its fence, we only have to add the length of its edges. In this way, to fence this plot, Bhola needs to add the sides 6, 10 and 8. Therefore, he needs a 24 meter long wire. Bhola finally put up a barbed wire fence around his farm and those mice never bothered Bhola again. Children, in this video, we learned about perimeter of a figure. In the next video, we will learn more about it by using some interesting examples.